Yo, what is good, you guys? We just hit 90,000 subscribers, and we are now on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Love y'all. What is good, you guys? It's your boy Jeff back again with my guy James Jadel. Today, as you guys can see in the title, we got the Subway trying the entire menu. We got a bunch of six inches. Pause. We got a bunch of subs right here. We got one of each. James, do you want to keep this off the video or on the video? We, uh, you basically sponsored this video. I did. <laughs> we won't go further than that. Okay. Have you eaten Subway just to get your I've, Of course I've eaten Subway. Okay. Subway are pioneers of the bread game. You like Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's? Yeah, Jersey all right. Mike's, yeah. Like, cut the crap. We all know Jersey Mike's is way better than Subway. What did you say? Doesn't mean Subway's bad though. In fact, I like Subway. Wait, that was a contradictory sentence. You said Jersey I feel Mike like bad. Subway and think, Jer like, think Jersey Mike's is very clearly ab above it. Okay. Let's just dive in. I'm excited. This is what I grew up eating like back in the day There used to be five dollar foot long and you get the worst of like the cold cut or, or a meatball marinara was one of the best That's but a awesome. good one for Subway. You, you like that? What's your favorite Subway? Dude, um, I'm not gonna lie as I've gotten older I get kind of squeamish about just having these metal tins with the, the meat in it. That's why I like Jersey Mike's It's, it's fresh. fresh. Yeah, the meatball marinara is always a good one. Usually I'll make like a turkey club or something I don't know why. I, like I usually get like roast beef, turkey, chicken, bacon, like the whole the whole thing at Jersey Mike's at Subway. I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm a, I'm a little, little conservative here. Just get some turkey. Do you feel uneasy about the food there? Is that why you go easy? Like, I, you know, I won't say who. Someone until I group may or may not have worked at Subway in the past, and I've heard uh, some some horror <laughs> stories. So tell me after. I'm I keep ready. it clean. What we're gonna do is like the usual. I'm gonna ask you some questions in between each of them, but we're gonna start off. With this one's gonna be, we're gonna start simple. All the sandwiches, all I got on them was cheese and lettuce, basically it toasted, right? So we're gonna keep it very plain. This is turkey. Is there any condiments? No, no condiments. Twelve seconds later. Have y'all watched Jason? Real yeah. mustard. I mean, this is. A... All right, so go ahead. You know, mustard, mustard yourself up. I will. What well, kind of cheese did you get? American. American? Yeah, this is the one everybody gets. On a sand? Jeff, what? This is the one everybody gets. You never had American cheese on Subway? American cheese belongs on a burger, not on a club, like not on a deli sandwich. You should get Swiss cheese or provolone. Oh, it's melted American cheese. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's toasted, but it's not so much toasted anymore. Are they all American cheese? Yeah. Is that a mistake? Dude. Bro! Jeff, you gotta be kidding me. What? What the hell is American cheese on a Guys, cheese? back me up. All right. All right. What are you rating this? Um, Keep in consideration that we. Have all right. I would. If I'm gonna rate it based off if I put the proper cheese on it. Yes. I'll give that a seven. I do that, right? Simple. I like Subway. So I give that a solid seven too. Uh, first question. I've asked you this before, but I'm gonna ask you it again. Who inspires you? And who do you inspi inspire to be? I would say who inspires me definitely changes over yeah, time. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking you now. Like at this moment, who's at that? this exact moment? Yeah, like somebody that you're like, oh no, let's go. I guess I guess like I'm pretty inspired by like like Mini Mentor or KSI. Yeah, I think it's impressive to be able to run like multiple channels, but a high quality content. Now I do post more often than both of those guys on my main channel, but you know I understand like especially now that Two Hype we do more and more. I really understand like the obligations of being in a YouTube group and how it really does take away from your personal time, your ability to run your own channel. So I just have a lot of respect for those guys. I pretty much have respect for like any. Massive youtubers putting out a lot of high quality content. So I look up to all those people. That's awesome Yeah, all right. This one is a new menu item. This is the barbecue Rib chicken. There's no ribs in it. Maybe there is a little food Bro, I hate to feel like don't judge a book by its cover. Okay Um, we know this is not healthy, but it's I'm gonna give that this was hard to rate because on one hand I bit into it Nice barbecue flavor, decent chicken, nothing to complain about, except for the way it looks. Yeah. The way it looks is quite frankly kind of disturbing. It's mad meat, it's like put together. I gotta put presentation to an account, I'm gonna give it a six. A six? I docked it, I docked it from a seven to a six because of presentation. That is fair, but I like the taste. Yeah, I, I like the taste too. I give that an eight, because I'm not really looking at the presentation. Fair, fair. Shark diving. 
bungee jumping or skydiving? If you had to do one. Shark diving. Shark diving, yeah. You're not scared of sharks? Uh, skydiving is an absolute no for me. Bungee jumping? Bungee jumping? Yeah. That's a no too. Right? I feel like I'm really not even familiar enough with the, the physics of bungee jumping. But it's really intense. Like it must be like a rope. Like I think like I would do shark diving. Shark diving. To me, it feels the most safe. Next, we got the steak sandwich. It's steak and cheese. I guess it's like a yes cookie. You got Philly cheese steak with yeah. lettuce. Yeah. Okay. I'm not feeling this one. It's not bad though. I'm gonna give that a four. That really doesn't have a lot of flavor. It doesn't, but it's not a simple plain sandwich for you. Like, well, I want flavor. I'd still give that a six or seven, actually a seven. But what don't you like about it? Just the flavor? It doesn't taste like it either. All right, so you know I'm a Giants fan. Yeah. Love them. Okay. Watch every second, even though it causes me emotional turmoil. You know, growing up in California, you don't see many Giants fans. So every time you see someone wearing a Giants hat or a jersey or shirt, you go, hey, nice hat, go Giants. It's the thing you do. Makes sense. First day at Rutgers, you see some dude, some dude wearing a Giants jersey. I'm like, bro, go Giants. And dude looks at me like, bro, everyone's a Giants fan. <laughs> Your new jersey. <laughs> You're in the wrong. You felt like place. a dumbass. I felt like a dumbass. Jace, who are you rooting for? Heat or Lakers? This is by the time the video comes out, we'll know how the series is going. But James, prediction one, but two, who are you rooting for? All right, my prediction is Lakers and six. Oh, the, the lag on the who you're I'm rooting for. All right, who am I to for? I'm gonna root for. All right, all right, all right. Your favorite cheesy pickup line. That you not use, but you know, like if you're like you know at the club and it was like a funny, they have a pickup line. What would it be? What are we trying? This is the buffalo chicken, um, new on the menu. I love buffalo. It's the red hot sauce. You know what I'm talking about? The red. Yeah. Frank's. Mhm. Mm I like the buffalo sauce on that thing. It's dripping. Yeah. Chicken, not the best. Not the worst. It's not dry or anything like that. Uh -huh. It's not nasty, but it's missing like. Some Maillard reaction, if you know what I'm saying. No. You can throw that on the stove for a little bit. So. And then it'll be better. It'll be a little good. bit better. Okay. What's your favorite Disney movie? You can answer that. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Is that Disney? That's pretty it Disney. It is now Disney. It's pretty Disney. So it had to have been a movie Disney themselves made? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go Ant Man. Ant Man? Two. Marvel? Or one. Two or one? I don't remember which one I like more. I like Ant Man. Ant Man was a funny. Yeah. Ant Man Very was funny. Cool. Yeah. Mine is Toy Story. Chicken teriyaki. So what puts Toy Story ahead of like Monsters Inc. or something like that for you? All right. So for me, Toy Story is ahead because at that moment, it's one of those movies you just wa I just watched over and over again. It was Toy Story, Mulan, because I'm Asian. Well, yeah. first off, Mulan is a like classic. Hell yeah! That is the best Disney animated movie. You think so? Uh, there is no doubt in my goddamn mind hey, okay. that Mulan is the best. Okay. I think Mulan, because all those Disney movies have those like weird music videos in the middle of the movie. Oh yeah, like that. And Mulan's yeah. soundtrack just f slaps. Oh. It's just so much better than the other movies. Hell, I'm sorry. Hell yeah. It's so much better. Hell yeah. Ew, this looks nasty. Chicken teriyaki. You got some cheese ashes in there. That's not it. That's not it. Three and a half. There's a lot less cold cuts than I anticipated. I, did you like that? I didn't really like that. I liked it, but compared to everything else, it's not okay. So we both we both agree it's the worst thing we've had so far. Yeah, yeah. but I, I like it too. Who is your best friend and where did you meet him? Dude, I don't know who my best friend is. I feel like I have like five best friends, but I'm also one of those people that believes you can only have one best friend. <laughs> Sound like you're in conflict. I'm in, I'm in deep conflict. I, I got, let's see, I got, I got four people that come to mind. What about Jason, one of them? Yeah, Jason's one of them. Okay. Uh, I met Jason after I played freshman year of football. Decided to stop making the football teams. I hate lifting weights. Not how I wanted to spend my school days. So I was like, it, I'll just, I'll just do PE instead because mm -hmm. lifting weights. When I joined PE, it was during the football section, and Jason was the only person with a 900 IQ play to draft me for their PE team. Nice, nice. And uh, that's when everyone was calling me new kid. And Jason was the only person who bothered to learn my name uh, that first day in PE, and then uh, we just the rest is history. Well, that first year we we weren't really friends that much. We we're just like cool with each other, 
And then sophomore year, we had a bunch of classes together through senior year, and so we just became better and better friends over time. Uh, my friend Kyle, I met, I knew him since elementary school, but we became really good friends my junior year of high school, and we had history class together, just became super solid friends. My boy Jared, he was the reason I joined my fraternity. Mm -hmm. Just loved hanging out with him, he was the coolest dude, he was my big. Still really good friends with him. Talk, actually had a conversation with him this morning, trying to see maybe if I can go back east if it's safe. Uh, oh, let's wow. get my tuxedo fitted, because uh, I'm gonna be, uh, what's it called, one of the groomsmen at his wedding. Amazing. In a when year? Is his oh, a year. Okay. Yeah, well, it's gonna be like a little, uh, like probably like three fourths of a year from now. Oh, okay. So, hopefully, Jared, we're praying it happens. Yeah. And then uh, my friend Kieran, he joined my fraternity after I did, and we just became really good friends. Four best friends right there. Yeah. Four best friends. Tuna, let's dive in. The thin layer of tuna. No. He's not hating it. I'm not loving it, but I'm putting it above that chicken teriyaki. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give that a five and a half. Okay. I, I agree that it should be above. What is the weirdest thread of Reddit you've ever gone through? Because I know you're on Reddit. Like, Reddit thread? Yeah, like when you spiral down, you're like, I'm in this part of Reddit. Uh, dude, I love going down and ask Reddit. I actually haven't done that in months. But, you know, I used to read really weird stuff on the Bungie.net forums. Uh, the weirdest thing I've ever read on a forum, I'll, I won't say Reddit because it wasn't on Reddit, but I used to be on the Bungie.net forums a lot back with, back in the Halo 3 days, Halo 3 ODST days. And uh, there is a story, there is a forum on there called The Flood, which is the off-topic forum. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of weird people on there, a lot of weird, weird people. And the, uh, the weirdest one I've read, which I, I had literally copy and pasted into a Word document so I could never lose it, and then I lost the laptop that, it, that the laptop that had that file got stolen. Mm -hmm. This guy wrote a whole story about how he became addicted to masturbating in a bowl of Cheerios, and the vicious cycle it took him down. It was definitely not a true story. Oh, okay. But parts of it might have been. But it was hilarious, and the best part about it that made me laugh more than anything was that the, the sensor on the website made every swear dash, blam, exclamation point, like uh, dash. No. So he'd be like, I'm going to blam a bowl of cheerios. Uh, like, <laughs> did you see the word blam? Every, it, it just made it funny. I had to get this to toss things up, guys. This is a veggie patty that they have. I guess it does not look good. Hmm. Well, it's not as bad as it looks. I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a five. A I would I'd get that over the teriyaki and the tuna. Well, no, I, no, not the tuna. I'd probably get the tuna instead of that, but I'd eat that over the teriyaki chicken, I'll be honest. That, that, just solid. Now, I wanted to do a series asking this. This is a sneak peek for you guys. I'm gonna be asking in the next videos, 1v1 matchups for the NBA, who James would then win. But we're gonna start off okay. with a classic. Michael Jordan playing Kobe Bryant, 1v1, who you got? Up to 11, ones and twos. I'm taking Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan? Well, no, I think, all right. I think Michael Jordan is a better basketball player than Kobe Bryant. I think Kobe is a better 1v1 player. I agree. Just because in 1v1, you have to take those horrible shots a lot of the times, like those bad fadeaways and stuff. And in a one-on-one -on -one setting, you have to take those a lot. Yeah. You get forced into those types of shots a lot, and I just feel like Kobe would convert those a little bit better than Jordan would. And having said that, in any other situation, I would take Jordan. But Jordan would be able to create a lot of space regardless. Like, he wouldn't have to take horrible shots because he I, I think so Kobe quick. was an underrated ISO defender. He is a great when he, when he wanted to be. But he locked down LeBron during the off time. I, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm, I think Kobe's underrated isolation defender. Yeah, I agree. Strictly for one on one. If you said two on two, I would take Jordan yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, they would, I wouldn't even hesitate. Same. All right, meatball marinara, guys. A f***ing classic. This is a f***ing eight, baby. Who you, you would take, Kobe or Jordan one on one? Kobe. It would be a tough matchup. I think they would go back and forth a lot. Shout out to Thinking Basketball if you guys know that channel. The guy's a genius, but he tracks Kobe's shooting percentage on all the terrible dumbass shots Kobe used to take. It was still a bad shooting percentage compared to a good shot, but yeah. Kobe's shooting percentage on the bad shots was better than anybody else's shooting percentage on the bad shots. And for that reason alone, I would pick Kobe. Those because I think the they're gonna shots. force each other into bad shots. Yeah. Because that's how one-on-one goes. This was my favorite sandwich growing up. One of them, besides the meatball marinara, is the BMT. So basically it has 
like two, three different types of you got pepperoni, salami, salami yeah. and capicola, I'm guessing. Dude, Jesse liked this one deli meat growing up called like mortadella or something. It uh, looks so disgusting. Was it? What do you think about the presentation on this one? It's all right, it's a little thin. Our bread to meat ratio is pretty trash on this one. Um, I'm gonna give this a, I gave the meatball marinara an eight. I'll give this an eight and bump that one up to an 8.5. All right, that was the last of the sandwiches. We got cookies coming up next. If you were, if someone was to ask your good friends or family, like your brother, what's the best attribute about yourself? What do you think that they would say? Uh, I persevere. In what way? I don't let life weigh me down. Okay, what is this one? This one's raspberry macadamia. Oh, raspberry, raspberry macadamia chocolate or cookie. Mmm, I like that. Yeah, I gotta say, I actually really like that. I really did not expect to like this, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Wow, that really is mm. really nice. I can't lie. This is good. This is good. <laughs> no, this is a 9.5. This, this, that real old raspberry has a, a nice touch. To Dude, it. normally I don't like the macadamia. I, that was. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> Which other one you want to try next? All right, we'll try this one. White it's chocolate. double chocolate. Double chocolate. Which would be harder for you to give up, alcohol or coffee? Oh my. All right. I have coffee every day. On um, every other day, I have two cups of coffee. All right. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with coffee because I can replace it with tea or something else. I can't replace alcohol. That's true. Wait. Wait to think. Of but I would. But I would be miserable. Yeah. What is the biggest risk you've ever taken? I would say, from a financial standpoint, signing up for apartment that costs two thousand a month when I probably couldn't have afforded it. I just figured I'd keep growing my YouTube and it'd work out, and it did. But if I didn't move into the two hype house, it might not have. So I got lucky. There, there's, I'm not gonna act like I didn't get lucky. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a. I'm gonna, honestly, that wasn't that good of a cookie. I'm gonna give this one like a five and a half. That one was. I didn't like that. Yeah. If you have 24 hours to do whatever you want in any city in the world, what would what city would it be, and what would you be doing in that city? Wow, that macadamia nut was too big. Macadamia nut. I didn't like that. Dude, honestly, I'm probably just do like an all-day bar crawl in New York. I feel like an ideal world. Now, when you go back to New York, that's what you're gonna be trying to do. Oh yeah, 100%. All right, last question. What the f is this, Jeff? Oatmeal raisin. We gotta save the best for last. Oatmeal raisin a cookie? Bro, what? Dude, this is bad. This is a one. What a horrible. If you could develop one hobby and master it, what hobby would it be? Outside of what you're doing now? Uh, fitness. Mm -hmm. If I randomly just got the motivation to be doing fitness stuff all the time, that'd be awesome. Because mm -hmm. I don't have that motivation. Oh, like that motivation. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. I don't care to work out. I don't like working out. I don't have fun doing it. But I wish I had fun doing it, so I would do it. That was about like 15, 20 interesting facts, questions about James. We tried the whole Subway menu. Overall rating, where does it list on all the, we, we tried a bunch of menus at this point. I kind of need the list in front of me to rate it. Was was this a good, was this bad? This was good. Good? Good. This good. good. Not great, yeah. right? It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was a solid place. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications on. Make sure you guys go check out James' channel. The link will be down in the description down below. And until next time, you guys, peace. peace.